Hi everybody, this is Jamie Machuk with the Wisconsin Valley Library Service. And for this digital bite today, we're going to talk about using a tool called Jing. So Jing is a product from TechSmith and it's a screen capturing tool. So let's talk a little bit about why we would use Jing. Well, one of the reasons we would wanna use Jing is that it's free. You can use it to capture text on your screen, capture photos on a screen. You can also use it as a, a video capture. Uh, the video capturing tool only allows you to record five minutes of material. So you wanna keep that in mind if you're using it for that purpose. It's also very easy to use and that's why we're going to do a digital bite on it today. You can use it for, let's say you wanna train a new staff member on how to do some procedures. Um, you know, checking out materials, or, or how do you uh, change a patron record in uh, Sierra, or whatever uh, tool you use for your, your online catalog. It could be a, a great tool for some of those quick tutorials. You could also utilize it for instructions for patrons. So let's say somebody calls you and says, I'm not sure how to uh, put a book on hold. Um, you could get this patron's email address, do a quick you know, two to three minute uh, capture on Jing and email it that email that to the patron. And you can use Jing as uh, a screencast tool uh, with a webcam like we are right now, or you can just, and with audio with a mic, or you can just do it as a screencast uh, with no talking and no sound. Uh, it's really that easy. Um, I am actually doing a screencast right now, recording this digital bite. I'm not using Jing, I'm using a, a different tool, one that allows me to record longer than five minutes, but essentially this tool I'm using, Screencast-O-Matic and Jing, are very similar. So let's get right into how to use Jing. So before we use Jing, we have to make sure it's downloaded on our computer. So right now I'm on the TechSmith site, uh, you can see where it says techsmith.com or you can just do a simple uh, Google search for Jing and you can easily find it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the download button right here in the upper right hand side. And because I'm using Windows, I'm going to go ahead and click on the Windows download. And it's going to tell me now where it downloaded because I'm using Google Chrome. It's going to download in the lower left part of my screen. Um, it'll show me where it will download in an Explorer as well as Firefox. And I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to expand my screen a little bit here. So you can see that here it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. Remember when you download something, just because you hit download doesn't mean you're done. You have to open the program, which I'm doing right now. And I'm going to click next and continue to follow the instructions. Okay, so I'm done installing Jing and it says in the download that once I'm done doing this, I'm going to see a little sun peeking out in the corner of my screen. And here it is. If I hover over this little sun, I'm going to get three options. The first one looks like a plus sign and that is to capture something. We're gonna to go to that in just a second. The middle one is a history and it'll keep and show me the history of everything I've done, everything I've captured in Jing. And then this one is a preference. I can also go ahead and click this, the more. And if I click this little pause button, that means that it will exit Jing if I don't want that little sun poking through. I'm not going to do that right now because I do want to show you uh, how to use Jing. Okay, so let's say somebody calls me and says, Jamie, I need a snapshot of the continuing education, of the upcoming continuing education happening at WVLS. Now, of course, what I could do is I could just go to the continuing education page, copy that link and email it to that person. For the purpose of this video, we're going to do a screen capture. So you can see my son is here. I can move this son icon all over the place. If it does get in the way, you can click exit, which I, I showed you, but we wanna do a capture. So I'm gonna to go to the continuing education page on our website, and let's say I wanna capture this text right here. I'm gonna find my little son, I'm gonna click on the plus, 
and then I get an X. And where you see the X is where you can highlight. So I want to highlight this area right here. I'm gonna cancel that because I don't want my face. I'm gonna move my webcam. <laughs> Let's try that again. I'm gonna click on capture. There we go, that's better. And I'm going to use the X. I'm gonna hold down my mouse and drag. And that's what I wanna capture. So I'm gonna let go and it's gonna show me this option. It's going to say capture image and that's what I'm going to click. And there I am, I'm back. <laughs> So here is what I captured. Now I can do a few things with this. I can add some text to it. So I can click the T and add some text wherever I want. I can change the font. I can change the size of the font. I can change the color. I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to click the undo button. I can add an arrow. So let's say someone said to me, I really need more information on trustee training week. I'm going to click the arrow and just simply with my mouse, draw an arrow and that can stay on. But I want to get rid of that as well. So I'm going to undo that. I can also change the color of my arrow. And then I can also add a frame to something. I mostly use the text and the arrow, or sometimes I typically just do a screen capture. So I can share this in a few ways. One thing I can do, well, first what I'll probably wanna do is rename it. So I'm gonna say screencast uh, CE, or you can leave it as is. I can share it via screencast.com, which will then give me a link that I can send to somebody, either in a chat box or via email, I can also save it to my computer. So let's do share via screencast first. I'm gonna click this button, the little icon with all the arrows. And as you can see, it's uploading my screencast. And then it says that your capture has been sent and the link is ready to go. So right now, it means that my link is copied. I'm gonna go ahead and click close. And then I'm gonna go into my email I'm going to click paste so I can either do a right click and click paste or I can do control V on my keyboard and there is uh, they where that person will find the photo. So I will say CE schedule. I can simply email it for the sake of this video. I will email it to myself so you can see what it looks like and I'm going to click send. Okay, so now here it is. And there is the picture of the screencast that I just took. Let's do another screencast and let's uh, save it to our computer. I'm gonna go back to the sun, hover over, click the plus sign, which is capture. I'm gonna capture this same area. It's in white and that looks good. I'm gonna let go. And when I'm capturing it, I'm doing, um, I'm holding down the left, air, left area of my mouse. So I'm going to click capture image right there and there it is. So I'm going to call it something CE capture. This time instead of clicking share via screencast, I'm going to click save and it will pop up um, my file area. So it's going to save it as a PNG file. I want to save it to my desktop. So I'm going to click desktop and it's going to call it a, the file name is going to be a CE capture. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. So now, if I go to my desktop, <laughs> you will see there it is, my CE capture. And there it is. All right, let's do another capture. Same thing, I'm gonna find the sun, which I can move all around. I'm gonna click on the plus sign capture. I'm gonna capture the area. Oh, and my webcam is in there and that's okay. I'm going to click capture image. <laughs> I got part of my webcam, which is okay. I'm going to go ahead now this time and instead of clicking share via screencast, instead of clicking save, I'm simply going to hit the copy button. If I don't like what I captured, I can click cancel and it will start over. I'm going to click copy. Now it means that my capture is copied and ready to be pasted. 
I could also then put that in email, control V. And as you can see, it copied that image in an email. So three options, save it via screencast, save it to your computer, or just do a copy and paste. I typically do a save to my computer in case I wanna use the image at a later time, or if I know it's something quick that I just wanna use it for something probably in that moment, I will do a copy and paste. So I just showed you how to do a screen capture. Now we're going to do a screen video. So let's say my colleague, Ann Hamlin, says, I need to find the web recording on the marketing program that was done in February. Uh, can you show me where that is? No, Ann would probably most likely know where that is, but for the sake of this video, let's use that scenario. I could give her the YouTube video, but a lot of times what we wanna do with with staff and even patrons is get them used to how to find things and navigate on our website. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a video capture. So I'm gonna find the sun, hover over, click on capture. I'm still gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna, going to capture as much as the screen as I can. And there we go, I'm gonna let go. And instead of hitting capture image, I'm gonna go ahead and click capture video. It's going to count down to one, the mic is on. So, hi Ann, this is Jamie. And to find the video, this is what you do. You go to the WVLS homepage. I'm gonna pause for just a second. Now, I can hit pause at any time, and that means the video pauses when I'm ready, and you can see where it stopped at 14 seconds. When I'm ready, then I can go ahead and click resume. So you go to the WVLS homepage, and you find professional development and scroll down to continuing education. You click continuing education, you scroll down past upcoming events to past WVLS recordings, and here you will find the February 27th marketing video. You go ahead and click recording and that will take you to the video on the YouTube site. I hope this helps. I clicked pause. I'm going to go ahead now and click finish because I'm done and you can see I only used 43 seconds. I'm well under the five minute mark for that. I'm going to click finish because I'm done with the video and it brings up a, the video, the capture of the video. I can do the same thing. I can share it via screencast. I can save it as well. I'm going to go ahead and rename it to CE video. Well, let's call it CE recording video so I can recognize that and uh, let's say that uh, let's let's share via screencast I'm gonna go ahead and click the three arrows right there and as you can see it's uploading right here it might take a while so I'm gonna go ahead and pause okay so the video capture is uploaded and it says that by this little box of black text. I can view it on screencast, but it's already copied. So let's say I wanna go ahead and email it to Anne. I'm going to open my email and it's sent to her. I'm gonna click Control V on my keyboard for paste. And there it is. I'm also going to click it to myself so I can pull that up. I'm gonna go ahead and click Send. Okay, so here's the webinar recording. I could also copy and paste it into a chat box. I'm going to click it. Let's see what it looks like. And there it pulls it up. I'm gonna click play. And it's running. This is a little odd because I'm doing a screencast of a screencast and there I am. And hopefully the audio should start. So, hi Anne, this is Jamie. And to find the video, this is what you do. You go to the WVLF homepage. And I think it's buffering a little bit, but the video would keep running. And there is the video capture. So to do a screen or video capture, you should always be able to find the little sun. And I said before that you can move this around wherever you'd like. I usually put it somewhere in the corner. If it starts to bother me, I go ahead and click this little more button. And then I can click exit Jing. And I can say, no, I still need you, or yes, bye, Jing. 
and it will go away. To get it back, I usually can find it in my toolbar. Here, I'm going to adjust my screen a little bit. And there's the toolbar, it's not in there. So what I'm going to do is just do a, a search for Jing in my Explorer file. And there it is, the sun <laughs> magically reappears. So that is a very basic digital bite on using Jing, using a using it for a screen capture or a video capture. With the video capture, again, you don't have to use a mic, you can just use the video, but you can use a mic to hook up or you can usually, usually use your, your laptop mic. And again, with video, you only have a five minute time period. So that is Jing. If you have an idea for a future digital bite, please email me. We are always looking for ideas and want these videos to be helpful to you. So with that said, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great week. So long.